swear I just went there to get a sandwich, man. Bring me the top support, Chris Perkins, ASAP. Don't you dare use that tone with me. Oh, jeez, Molly, I'm so sorry. Just whenever you can, okay? I'm so sorry. Sorry about that. That's just been so it's, just it's just been. I see you've had some prior drug arrests. I've been clean for the past few months, man. I went to rehab. All right, well, just start from the beginning. All right, so. Uh, I had just came out of Pubway with my sandwich. Can you be a little more descriptive? It was like a six inch. I couldn't afford a foot long. Uh, yeah, I meant the beginning of the incident. Oh, okay, yeah. There was some shouting, so I look to my right and I see Clarice and Mason. You knew Clarice before? And who's Mason? Yeah, I knew Clarice and Mason a while back. We, we all had classes together. We're not close friends or anything, but, but they were. But like, today, he was yelling at her for some reason. You didn't hear what they said? Nah, I had other things to worry about. Plus, I just put on my headphones. And as I sat there and ate that son of a sandwich, oh, I couldn't help but imagine how good it looked. And you know I got that baby grilled. Plus, I added like extra chipotle sauce, because you can never go wrong with the chipotle sauce. Jesus, kid, will you forget about the sandwich? So like a while later, I turn around, and I see Clarice on the ground just spazzing out and everything. Mason, he was gone. And, and yeah, I don't do well in these situations. So like I freak out and just make everything worse, and I dipped. All right, you're done. Get out of here. Can you tell me what happened at the crime scene? Excuse me? Do you think I have something to do with her death? I was her best friend. Why the hell would I kill her? I'm not saying anything, but we do have a statement saying that you were the last person seen with her. <laughs> okay, let me stop you right there. I was the one who called 911. I was yelling at Clarice because she didn't come to my party last night, and I was like, Girl, you missed the biggest opportunity of your lifetime. And she was like, I'm really sorry. I, I really had to study for my bio test. And I was like, that's still two weeks from now. Why are you worried about it? And she's like, I'm better to study now than to cram later. Okay, I get it. Just get to the point. I'm getting there. You can't rush the story. After a couple of minutes, she started coughing. And I, <laughs> and I was like, Clarice, are you okay? But she kept on coughing. Then all of a sudden, she's on the ground spazzing. I didn't know what to do, so I went inside Pubway to get help. So she just started coughing? Did she have something? Uh... Well... Yeah, she got a smoothie from this girl, Tia. Tia who? Tia Mallory, you gave a smoothie to Clarice. Why? I don't know what happened, I Enough. swear. All the evidence points to you. All I did was give her a smoothie, I swear it wasn't me. I only got it for her because she helped me study for my calculus test. I just told her, this is for helping me study last week. And she said, oh, thanks. And then I told her, gotta go for class. See you later. And then I left. I didn't add anything to the smoothie. I have like nothing against Clarice. I barely knew her. But it was a perfect opportunity to possibly spike your drink? I don't know, I swear. Did All you even I... pass the calculus test that Clarice helped you on? What? How is that relevant? You said you gave a smoothie to Clarice because she helped you with your test. You could have failed the test and you decided in the heat of the moment, that it was Clarice's fault that you failed and you decided to poison her smoothie as payback. You're out of your mind. Enough! I... Confess your crimes now! Please, I beg you, detective. I have nothing against her. I was just doing her a favor. I didn't kill her. Please. All right, you can go. One of these three did it. My bet's on Tia. Still, it could be Mason. He wanted Clarice at his party. Perhaps he was angry she missed it. He devised a plan to kill her. Or it could be Ben. He kept talking about a sandwich, as if he was trying to distract me from the real narrative. I need to question him again to find out. Hey, Detective Everhart. Oh, hey, Clark. I got your autopsy report you asked for. Uh, thanks. It seems like the cause of death was a strawberry allergy. Hey, what? Yeah, I guess you can close this case now, though. <sighs> guess so. Alright, yeah. thanks Clark, see you later. See you. Hey, this is for helping me study. Oh, thanks! Uh, how'd you do in your test, by the way? 
I don't know what happened. I studied and still failed. Oh, sorry. Maybe you'll do better next time. Are there any strawberries in this? I'm allergic. No, it's a pomegranate mango mix. Oh, okay. Uh, have you met my friend Mason? Hi. May. I have to go for class. I'll see you later. <coughs> hmm. So we're just gonna pretend skipping our party is all right. I'm really sorry. I promise I'll um, make it next time. <coughs> Why? <laughs> I love strawberry mango.